So if I, if, if Jason, if I'm angry and, and with this graphic, okay, a nice guy in the moment's going to stuff that shit down and kind of pretend like he's not, right? So how about a mountain lion in the moment though? Am I going to say, mm, I'm really angry right now and just express my feelings and unabashedly just put that out there in the moment? What do you think about that? No. <laughs> um. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, I mean, I, I personally have, a, a, have an issue with saying I'm angry because I am not anger. I, I mean, I am not that, that, that just it, it, it helps to, to say I'm experiencing anger or I'm feeling anger. I, yeah. Yeah. Uh, because you, that way, that way the anger doesn't take over. That's a whole other topic, kind of a Buddhist thing, but um I, I I'm feeling anger in the moment, or I, I feel angry, whatever, and um, but I'm okay. I want to hear what you have to say, or I'm experiencing anger right now. Um, I'll I, I want to sit with that later. But what were you saying? Yeah, let me let me jump in right there because I actually <laughs> I think there's a big there's a big difference to a woman when you have the presence of mind to say. I'm feeling anger right now, or I'm experiencing some, experiencing some anger right now. Just give me a moment, right? And then, okay, but I'm okay. And let's move forward. You're able to separate that from yourself. I, I think you come across as not as dangerous, right? Not as, well, what's he going to do next if he's, she, she just feels you completely identified with anger and fucking, I've talked about this a lot, right? When it's all over your face, all over your body, and you're saying, I'm angry. I'm really angry right now. Like, okay, what's next? She's just wondering what the hell is going to happen next. But if you lead into, give me a moment. I'm going to breathe for a moment. I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to go, whatever that may be. Just give me a moment. Okay. So yeah, why is, talk about the expression of a woman. She can feel exactly what you're feeling. And that's why, I'm talking about this as a mountain lion in the moment she feels it and on going to the future she feels it what's it that like for a woman Jason would you say well I mean especially around anger any anytime a man is uncomfortable um anytime he's angry or um confused not set on his purpose anytime there's some kind of conflict in him she's going to monitor him so much because men in pain are dangerous She's learned that from since she's been a little girl. And whether she's been hurt or not, she knows somebody who has. Every single woman will monitor men nonstop, especially when they're angry. So for you to be able to say, I'm experiencing anger, you're safe, we're cool. I want to hear what you have to say. I'll 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 deal with that later. Is like she just went like Oh, okay, 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 yeah. I mean, you you literally just lit a fire in, in, under her emotions, and then took and then gently took it away for her. Um, but to hide that you're angry is going to be twenty times worse for her. She's going to feel you anger. She's going to feel you uncomfortable, and if you are not expressing it. She's going to think you're unaware, and an unaware angry man is 20 times as dangerous as the man who knows he's angry. I mean, she's learned that through experience, too. She saw those boys just all of a sudden start hitting each other in the playground, you know? And that's scary shit. She's heard of women being raped, or she has been raped herself, or, you know? I mean, it, it's, it's, something, it's nothing we want for women. But their experience is that they monitor us all the time. They know exactly where we are in the room. I have clients, women clients that, that uh, with their husbands are going on a, vac or a vacation or on a business trip are like, Fuck, I get a vacation. I'm going to get so much done next week. I'm like, what's the difference? He won't be there. And I'm thinking you're going to have to take care of the kids more, all this kind of stuff. You're going to have tw twice the responsibilities, but you're going to be more free. Yeah, he's been so angry lately. I haven't been able to get anything done. He's been so angry. Let me jump in with something here real fast. I thought about this right before the call, and I didn't have a chance to prep this. So let me just do it right now. I'm going to draw two stick figures. And so let's, here's two stick figures. And let's say this man has 
you know, giant anger within him, a big red ball on the inside. Maybe it's fear, maybe it's insecurity, maybe it's anger. And he's playing, he's playing like it's a, it's this blue facade. So it doesn't match. This is the nice guy is like, Oh, I'm fine. Or he doesn't say anything, or I'll just go do the dishes and maybe she'll like me more. And so it doesn't, it doesn't match, but what we just described, what Jason just so eloquently described is, okay, if you've got red on the inside and you, you are aware of it, okay, you're aware of it. And then you're able to, obviously I could turn the page and draw another stick figure where you can turn that red into blue. And then you're truly blue. You're truly that same emotion on the outside, but it always matches. So if you're this, if you're this red, this is what you just, Jason just described. If you're red on the inside and either you're lying about it or faking it, or as you said, Jason, not even aware of it, this is the most dangerous man possible. And what we're talking about is, and I've had to go through this where you're angry and you're aware of it, and then you can process it and change it and move yourself forward. Okay. To the point where you feel more calm and grounded on the inside, and then you can be calm and grounded on the outside. 